so it's funny um, I'm over here at uh, Whole Foods and I just went crazy looking for the raw cacao powder uh, because today's video obviously it's gonna be on the topic of the difference between the cocoa and the, and the raw cacao powder so it turns out and I have no idea why they do this but the cocoa powder is in the baking section of uh, Whole Foods, whereas the um, the raw cacao powder is in, if you can zoom in on the sign, bulk foods, nut seeds, dried fruit, energy drinks, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, Very, very odd. Makes me want to ask the manager why these two are in two completely separate aisles. I think I know why though, and I'm gonna go into that in a minute. Unfortunately, a lot of people are very, very oblivious about the difference between uh, cocoa powder and raw cacao powder, right? Including some of my clients. Um, and I often get asked, hey, Trainer Labs, you know, what's the difference? Is there a difference? You know, what should I go with? Cacao, cocoa? So the difference with the switcheroozy, is that a word? Switcheroozy, the switcheroozy with the, the with the vowels, <laughs> cocoa O A and then cacao A O. We're gonna start with the cocoa O A. So the cocoa powder was once actually raw cacao powder, right? Before it got processed, and no during the process, not. which is in high heat, it loses all of its essential nutrients and vitamins, and also the most important one, the antioxidants antioxidant properties in raw cacao powder are very very high which makes it an essential superfood so that's the deal with the cocoa now the raw cacao powder which is chocolate in its purest form right what you need to know is that it's retained all of its essential nutrients and vitamins it's a superfood uh, extremely high in antioxidants it's actually good in the sense that it helps elevate your mood controls blood pressure it helps with a myriad of health issues right so that's basically the difference between the two cocoa and cacao now something i need to point out in um regards to the dark chocolate bars here's the issue with the supposed uh dark chocolate cacao bars so on the front you'll notice that it says cacao 85 percent you flip it to the to the back side in the ingredients it says cocoa now that's clearly a marketing ploy what that a lot of companies use to get away with the fact that they want to fool you in a sense that it's cacao when in fact it's cocoa and that's the reason why it doesn't say cacao in the ingredients it'll say it on the front because legally they're able to get away with that so you'll usually see not just with this particular bar but in others you'll notice in big print on the front cacao and then in the back uh, cocoa okay so beware of that that's basically what you need to know between the two, the cacao, A-O, and the cocoa, O-A, and then also the slick marketing ploy that the companies like using with the bars, and not only with the bars, but the raw cacao chips as well. If you notice, when you're in a health food store, Whole Foods, Sprouts, wherever you may be, flip the package, it'll say cocoa. I'm gonna leave you with one last thing here. So what you could do with um, raw cacao powder is you could add it in your uh, oatmeal, add a little cinnamon, maybe a few drops of stevia, and you are set. It'll taste exceptionally delicious. My daughter, for one, loves it. As a matter of fact, she's gonna give you her take on on uh, the oatmeal as well as the protein packed uh, pancakes that we make that we also add the um, raw cacao she's like itching itching to flip the camera the protein packed pancakes
pancakes that we add the raw cacao powder to and not to mention the JNG Fitness healthy oatmeal cookies that I make with um, the raw cacao powder with stevia and a little bit of cinnamon and whatnot. She loves all three of them. So we're gonna flip the camera. Like, Let me hold the camera there. Okay. Um, most kids don't like healthy things, but these don't even taste healthy. They are, but they don't taste healthy. They're delicious, and I love them. Yeah, so, you know, you heard it from the, uh, you know, the videography girl here herself. She has that oatmeal almost every day. As a matter of fact, she had it today, right? Sometimes we'll alternate between that, maybe some healthy Ezekiel bread with some peanut butter and uh, some homemade uh delicious uh jelly that we uh make you know there's a lot that i like to discuss in addition to what we've already discussed regarding the you know raw cacao powder and such but i'm gonna save all of that juicy info for more videos to come so if you like the video make sure you give me a thumbs up any comments include them in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe because there's a lot of very useful and helpful information yet to come. Trying to last, JG Fitness.